All right, guys, welcome back. Hopefully you had a good Wednesday in the market, inauguration day. Nothing crazy happened. There was no martial law. My hedge um, wasn't needed, so that's kind of good. Good. Anyways, we're not going to make uh, make the huge bags we were hoping to today, but uh, we still have these plays in case something does come up that uh, moves the market. Um, on our long term, kind of sold off in the beginning of the day, and then... And I came back. Uh, the indexes were all up today. I think that's just because the FANG was holding it up because a lot of stuff was down. Um, Tesla kind of stayed pretty flat. Corsair so sold off. They had a share offering. So they sold off. So I might be trying to get some more shares of this. Um, hopefully, let's see. Yeah, we'll see. Because now we're actually down on the position and I'm bullish on it. So, And they have earnings in a couple weeks. So we got all those Corsair calls in the other account. For that, um, Avi, give, yeah, I guess give announced their merger, so that's going to go through. And I guess this is kind of a sell the news, buy the rumor, sell the news type of thing on give, which I think is pretty common with SPACs. Uh, IMMR is up today. I don't think there's news on that. But long term is pretty flat today. Uh, we did get more shares of KO. Uh, it's been it's been sold, selling off quite a bit, and I think it's at a good price now. So... Got 10 more shares of that and might scale in some more on KO. I'm not sure if, uh, I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see if it keeps coming down or not. It could maybe found support right here. Um, on the RSI, it's pretty low though. It's pretty sharp sell off here, but I like KO for uh, safe dividend play. And then I think they're, yeah, they're coming out with like a alcohol seltzer and stuff, which will be pretty big. That space is crazy huge right now. If Coca-Cola can get a part of that, that'd be big. Because they haven't had, I mean, they haven't had crazy, any kind of new stuff, it seems like, for a long time. That would move them very much. So that's the long term on our Weeble. Um, we did sell out of our positions. We were swing trading uh, multiple positions. We're down today, unfortunately. Just part of it. 369. Uh, I did do a day trade on here, just because why not? I was like, oh, we're up. I made money, and now I want to waste it, so... It was basically a FOMO day trade. Didn't get in at the right time. Just went in kind of whenever. And then, uh, yeah, wasn't a good idea. But let me see the orders today. Filled orders. So it was just OBLN. Again, saw it going up. And it was like, got FOMO. Didn't wait for it to consolidate. I got in right here. Or like right here. And it came up a little bit. And it was like with $1,000. So however many shares that is. And it kind of kind of uh then it kind of came down i held till about here then i was like all right i'm out because this is all validation that it's probably going to be over <laughs> and this thing yeah i didn't even actually i can't remember what the news oh it was a merger yeah so anyways didn't quite time that one right if i was looking at it and i saw it here when i wanted to get in i should have waited until this consolidation and then i would have gotten in right here at this green candle over the nine moving average um then yeah i don't know i, I kind of missed this play in general because then i would have gotten out here so that's not much but anyways lost a little bit on that and the other ones we i mean we made money on the other ones that we swing traded uh so we sold out of mp sold out of xpev crnt and bingo i'm still i mean bullish on these you know i think uh just i think they're kind of having a little bit of a correction so um yeah that's that's what you do with swing trade. No reason to hold it through the lows. Just keep it going. So let's see. MP is kind of at a kind of sold off there a little bit. Not not much though. So just to me, it looks like it's either consolidating or going to start downtrending for a bit. And then um, CRNT, Bingo, XBEV. This one had a big sell off. Yeah. So I. Uh, yeah, this one I think is kind of bearish now. At least for a bit. If it goes back up, I'll set an alert and jump back in it. But we made, I mean, we made money on these swing trades. Bingo 2. Um, I think this one is, yeah, it's overbought also. So, XPEV, I think all these EVs are probably going to just run back up pretty soon once Biden starts talking about them. But that's kind of what you need. You need some uh, Biden news on energy and EVs. Because uh, this was all rumor. I think a lot of these EVs was just like rumor, Biden getting in, energy, you know, he's going to pour money into this and make gas cars illegal and all this. So now that he's inaugurated, he's president, they're kind of, I think, selling the selling the news a little bit. That's what it, that's what it felt like, at least today. 
So got out of those. Um, we did all right though. We're down 369 on this this day, but up 521 yesterday. Uh, so got one IBM call for earnings. Um, they've been kind of consolidating the last long time, so they weren't expected to make a huge move. If you look on their daily, it's been kind of a just real slow. So we'll see. I got a 140 something call. Little YOLO, I guess, something like that. And then this Twitter put, yeah, this, I think I just paid a big premium on this one. So we'll pick up some more shares on a swing trade on this account uh, once we get a position that we like, like where it's going, I'll throw it in. What's nice now though is we've got good buying power. We've got six grand in buying power. So six grand on a single swing trade. Uh, you know, you can, it comes up 20, 30%. That's pretty big. So that's our Weeble. On our E-Trade, remember we sold the covered call on Airbnb. Airbnb dropped down 6.8% today. So the covered call went up 85%. And yeah, so this hopefully will expire worthless. I'll probably close it out before that happens. Maybe even roll it up and sell a covered call uh, further out the money or a higher strike or lower strike rather. But we'll see where it's at once this uh, gets to expiration. But this is a pretty nice premium since this is a pretty large position. Um, 210 is it 210 yeah 210 dollars on the covered call and that was with only like three days of premium i was selling it so that's not bad um we opened up a put credit spread on tesla bullish position and um yeah tesla's been kind of consolidating the last actually last like couple weeks really it was just a big consolidation uh they have earnings coming out i think on like the 27th next week next Wednesday maybe so I'm, I'm assuming maybe a little bit of an earnings run up this one expires on Friday so nothing crazy it's uh 145 max profit max loss at 355 it's a bit of a more of an aggressive strike price of what is it 840 yeah so you know it's right up here I'm bullish on it the next couple days we'll see though um and then, of course, our VIX calls and UVXY calls lost a lot of value today just with nothing going on, basically normal stuff. So these are both down over 60%. So I'll probably just hold them because they're only $100 on both of them. And in case something crazy happens, you know, whatever, I have a little hedge. Baba shot up today. So I guess what's his name? The Baba man. They found him or he he showed himself. So China hasn't taken him. Um or maybe they have and he's just reappearing. I don't know. But anyways, I think that's the bullish news on Baba. So it's up 5% today. We'll see where that goes. It's only got nine days left. And this one is a 300 call on Baba. So it's pretty far out of the money, but I don't know. A lot of momentum today. Yeah, so I'd be happy to just get my money back on that one. Uh, ACB call, Tilray call. Those both are kind of consolidating, kind of just settling down a little bit from think how they've been i think it was kind of buy the rumor sell the news with biden presidency so hype a lot of hype on evs and cannabis and green energy but now that he's inaugurated he's the president it's kind of i feel like it feels like kind of sell the news at least it did today um so i think they're kind of settling down and these both uh i think the weed stocks and then ev and all these that ran up just at this point probably need news or biden to mention them or something like that to get them to go again um, cause these aren't, you know, this isn't based on earnings or that kind of thing. This is just hype speculation stuff. So we'll wait on those. We've got another 30 days on both those weed ones. Um, we got these Corsair calls. Remember Corsair sold off today though, because, uh, they offered a share offering. So yeah, that's okay. I'm still bullish on it. In fact, on our long term, I'll probably pick up more shares of Corsair been consolidating pretty nicely in this range and looks like it's at the bottom because these have been higher lows this is higher highs so i'm assuming tomorrow this will be either flat or i don't know I'm gonna start coming up i hope i hope uh oh that brings me actually to rocket because their chart is kind of crazy just to totally throw a curveball it was up today rocket but if you look at their daily, it's just been annoying, remember? So it's been like this consolidation and getting tighter, ready for breakout. And then just like in here, it just got all choppy and kind of came back down, which is really annoying. It doesn't have this nice clean run up like this was and like this was. It's just like, Bleh. so I don't know what this is doing. Hopefully this goes crazy at some point though. We still got these five rocket calls. They're 
pretty large. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, so let's see, we were talking Corsair, yeah. And then Facebook put, these I'm not sure about now with Biden being in. Uh, Biden and big tech are kind of, kind of, you know, buddy, buddy. So the Facebook put, the Twitter puts, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, they've got there's lawsuits and stuff against them and people pulling out and advertising getting dropped since they're censoring everybody. But uh, if Biden starts changing policies quick on that stuff, that might not work out well. But we'll see. Smith & Wesson, uh, that's this SWBI and Ruger, two gun plays. I think these these could go either way. These could keep going up depending on what Biden starts to do or they could go down um, just like any stock, I guess. But if there's not crazy news, then these will probably sell off. Looks like that's what Smith & Wesson did today. Was there news on this, actually? I don't think so. But if he starts talking about gun control and this kind of thing, um, or if there's any kind of shooting, unfortunately, um, these will these will go up. So we've got some time on these. And if you remember before Trump, uh, Trump's presidency, there were a lot of shootings. Um, they're just... I mean, not a lot, a lot comparatively to when Trump has been president the last four years. Think about these shootings. Uh, when Trump was president, there was riots and uh, people burning down stuff, but not just like murders. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see uh, with a, a Biden presidency, what'll happen in the first 30 days. Maybe nothing, but we'll have these just in case. Um, STPK is that clean energy play so that should be good with biden in the next 30 days hopefully it runs um what was the other yeah yeah i guess that that's it uvx y vix we're kind of playing both both sides here um of course like the pro trump i guess martial law crazy stuff happening those plays are kind of going to be dead here unless something crazy happens and then hopefully the pro biden you know stpk clean energy um I guess that's kind of the only one. Yeah, in this account, that's the only one, really. I mean, with Biden also, the gun stocks could go up. That's typically what happens when Democrat gets in. So, oh yeah, that's right, ACB. So then the weed stocks too, those are pro-Biden plays. So we'll see how that's hedged out and how it works. But yeah, long-term's good. This one says we're down 1,200 today. That's just because of Airbnb. I don't really count the shares losing value since this is kind of a an options account but i have to have these shares in here right now so these shares are down 1100 today so we're pretty much flat on this account for today um baba kind of helped that out let's see and then yeah this covered call we did on airbnb of course helped and tilray no that didn't help but yep that's it for me guys uh hopefully you had a good one in the market remember to sub up like up comment down make your money happy money so stick around here's our paper account we're doing uh we're just selling puts on the spy seeing what we can do with hundred thousand. And I forgot today was Wednesday because the market was closed on Monday. So then Tuesday, the contract expired. And then today I was waiting for a dip in the spy. It just slowly climbed up all day. I was waiting for that dip so I could sell some puts. Thinking they were expiring tomorrow. And then look at this. This is just slow green candles all day long. Really nothing going on. So anyways, we get to like here and then... I'm like, wait, these contracts expire today. So I made a mistake. I should have bought a put that expired today or sold a put that expired today right here. Um, Cause I, was, I wasn't thinking today was Wednesday. So anyways, I missed out on selling premium today, but I sold one for Wednesday or Friday. And I sold a 380 put, which I'm bearish on the spy cause it's way overbought right now on the hourly. Maybe not bearish, but I, I don't think it's gonna keep going up. I think it'll at least flatten out. So 380s here, um, we'll see. It's had like a, about a 20 delta. Uh, not a whole lot of premium on it though. I think just because the spouse up so much today. So 780, I guess it's, it's a pretty good amount. But for two days, yeah. So that's our paper account. We'll see what happens with that. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.